This is Christy Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today I'm gonna to show you how I go about uh, rolling and laying out a wall. And it's just uh, kind of like my method that's worked for me for uh, 20 some years. And I'll just give you, I'm priming this wall for an accent wall. I'm gonna show you, you know, how I go about rolling a wall, how I go about laying it out. Now, uh, one thing uh, you want to do is load up your roller and load it up uh, nice and well, get it really saturated you know, before you start rolling. And every time you uh, roll the wall, load that thing up really well, get a lot of paint on it. Just a handy little tip, transferring your roller to your wall. If you rotate your roller, just subconsciously rotate it to the wall, you'll never get any drips anywhere unless you roll it like really fast and flick paint everywhere but I just take load up my roller and I subconsciously twirl my roller in my hand and I'll never drip paint it's the same about just I'm um, just standing here talking to you on this video um, I won't drip paint as long as I'm rotating this roller and I use that method when I'm doing my cut-ins I use the method when I'm rolling a wall I'm always just rotating this roller so the paint does it you know um, sag to one in and eventually drip. So just try to use that method when you're, you know, rolling your wall and you're transferring your roller from your pan to the wall. So I'm going to load it up. Now I'm going to transfer it to my wall, moving it. And I like to, and this is just me, I like to take my roller and set it right in the wall and I begin unloading my roller at that point in time. Now, some people are very particular about the direction their roller faces when they're actually rolling because if i'm rolling in this direction it's pushing the roller onto the frame if i'm rolling like this and going this direction if you're really pushing really hard and you're what we're called dry napping you could work your roller off the frame and i do have to say uh in my career um, a couple times I've actually rolled a roller right off the frame and it did fall off. And so what I like to do is set my roller right in the middle and I'm going to face it always to my left and I'm going to begin unrolling from a top to bottom motion until my paint is evenly distributed on that wall in that section. Now that section is loaded with paint. I like to reload my roller. You know what we call um, dry napping. If your loader or your roller starts to run out of paint, it's gonna start painting, pulling paint off the wall. So now I'm gonna take, load it up, set it back in the middle again, begin unrolling my paint from my roller in a top to bottom motion. Careful to not touch my ceiling, so I don't have to touch it up. Now that's nice and saturated, gonna load it up again. It's hard to um, just emphasize enough how often you have to load your roller. Keep loading that thing up, keep saturating it with paint so you don't dry nap your wall. So now I'm unloading it top to bottom. I'm getting my paint nice and evenly distributed. Now I've got a section that's about, you know, I'm um, three feet long that's been loaded with paint. I'm gonna hit my edge here, just like that. Now I'm just going to go back and I'm gonna lay it out. And I like to lay out from top to bottom, top to bottom, top. And you can see I've got my arm fully extended. I've found the point of where my arm is fully extended with my roller and I'm not touching the top of my ceiling. And that way I know every single time coming out, I'm reaching same distance i'm not going to touch my ceiling that's how i like to roll a wall and i use this method all along this is i'm priming this wall for an accent wall if i was doing it from um, floor to ceiling it would be the same method i'm using just a nine inch roller a lot of people are going to tell me why aren't you using an 18 inch roller i'm just using uh, or i'm just painting a small wall right here so I don't need to load up an 18 inch roller, which is gonna take a lot more paint to load up. It's gonna take a lot more time to clean up. So I just want to use a small roller that's easily manipulated on this wall. I'm gonna set it in the middle, begin unloading until my paint is 
evenly distributed. That paint needs to be evenly distributed from top to bottom. You want the same mill thickness here as you do up there. If it doesn't look like it's evenly distributed, you can work it out a little bit more and work it over and just work it until it's evenly distributed. You don't want to work do that working method if the paint starts to dry because then it's what it's going to call what it'll start tacking and pulling and it'll stipple your wall really heavily. So I'm going to load up my roller once again. I'm going to just move it as I transfer it to the wall, unload. You're going to be working 50% overlap. Your overlap is very important because it's what we call keeping a wet edge. You want to keep a wet edge at all times so you don't leave lap marks, roller lap marks, overlap marks on your wall. We want to keep it saturated across the wall, even mill thickness across the wall, spreading my paint out, top to bottom. I've got to the end of this window, now I can come back and work on my layout, lay it out from top to bottom. I can turn my roller opposite direction so I can get a little bit closer to my tape, just like that. Now I'm gonna roll out from top to bottom. I'm gonna come back, hit my cut-ins, get closer to my ceiling, doing my cut-ins with a brush, and I'll show you what that looks like a little bit later. So there's some simple little tips and tricks when it comes to rolling a wall. It's how I roll a wall. I've been rolling with that method for like say over 20 years. It's given me some amazing looking accent walls. It's given me um, you know, a lot of a nice looking professional looking projects and a lot of happy customers. If you got any tips or tricks rolling walls, just leave it down in the comment section below. If you've got anything from this video, just give us a thumbs up. It really encourages us to keep making these videos. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, slam it, bang it, do whatever you gotta do, hit them both. It's free, easy to do. It's never gonna cost you anything. We'll see you next time right here on Paint Life TV. Out.